Action as the number 23 Volunteers of Tennessee hosting a top 10 club, the ninth ranked Bears of California as our college football kickoff weekend continues here on ESPN. And now they come in four straight winning seasons. That hasn't happened to Cal since the Truman administration. And speaking of the Truman administration, I bring in my partners, Bob Greasy and Paul McGuire. Paul joins us this year, my longtime partner, Bob Greasy. Let's talk about the quarterbacks. These two young guys are in the spotlight tonight. This year, now he comes into a place where it's very tough for a quarterback to succeed. This place is loud, maybe the loudest quarter place for a quarterback to play as a visiting team. On the other side, Eric Ainge gets the start. Two years ago as a, soft, as a freshman, he was outstanding. Last year, he was disappointing. The big thing for Eric Ainge is David Cutcliffe is back as the offensive coordinator. Cutcliffe was a guy that tutored Peyton and Eli Manning. I think that Eric Ainge is going to make the biggest improvement of all the quarterbacks in the SEC. Mike Dunbar came from Northwestern. Last year at Northwestern, he was the offensive coordinator. They averaged over 500 yards a game on offense. And here at Cal, he inherits the best duo, in I think, in all of college football. Marshawn Lynch and Justin Forsett. Lynch last year averaged over six yards a carry. Forsett over seven yards a carry. And between the two of them, 208 yards rushing per game. Made the stop Tennessee offensively. Some youth on that offensive line that has Phil Fulmer a little bit concerned. And he's an old line coach, so he knows all about it. The impact players for Tennessee, Aaron Sears. He's an All-American candidate. Arian Foster, almost 900 yards last year from his running back position. Made the tackle defensively for Tennessee. They're going to look at those linebackers. Only three starts among those three guys. That'll be something to watch for the Volunteers. And they're impact players. They've got some. Turk McBride among them. He'll play several positions. Harrell's an All-American type candidate. And Jonathan Wade, their top defensive back, a track guy. Bears of California, here's how they look. They were really happy that Andrew Cameron, who was considering quitting football, would be back. He's their main lineman up front. And you see Stevens may not be the tight end in this opening snap. The impact players, as we take a look at them, Longshore is going to have to be good. Deshaun Jackson's a big play receiver. Each him again. Defensively for the Bears of California, Brandon Meebane is one of the best in the entire country. And he gets some help from his friends because at every level they have an All-American type player. He's got Nua Tafisi who helps him on the defensive line. We talked about Desmond Bishop. He's going to make half the tackles, it seems, in the ballgame. And then Damian Hughes. Rule changes this year. The clock starts on the ready-to-play whistle. And all changes of possession. Tennessee territory. Four set in the backfield. Four set trying to cut it outside. And he's going nowhere. Tennessee's defense, you may not see it on your screen. We're having some technical problems. It is third and long, and whoa, what a collision at the 46-yard line. Lynch says hello to Demetrius Morley. Starts at his own 12-yard line. Play action. Ainge to fire deep down the sidelines. Got a man, and he's got it. Across midfield of the 47 is Robert Meacham. So a big play for Tennessee on its opening snap. To the start of the season. Third down along eight. Longshore with time and now running out of it. Gonna fire one down the sideline and he's got his man, but it's broken up. Deshaun Jackson had it and Jonathan Wade stayed with him. Ineligible receiver downfield on the offense. Penalty will be declined. Fourth down. Now we've got Rick on uh, the mic. This is a good job by the receiver. When the quarterback starts scrambling, that's his route right there. When he sees him scrambling, he heads deep. That's what he should do. Virginia Tech's in the ACC and off to a good start today. Second down and nine. Play action for range. Deep out. Got his man. Curling around. Breaking a tackle. Lost the football momentarily, but Jason Swain held on to it. And it's another volunteer first down. Play action. Single coverage on the outside. Just beat him with an out route. And the Tennessee receivers, though, he lost it at the end. Bill Fulmer against... Non-conference opponents, 30 and two. And of course, in his 15th season, he is the Dean of SEC Coaches, National Coach of the Year in 98. Ontario Hardesty is in the backfield now to give Foster a breather. They fake it to him, and here comes the end around. Brett Smith, Smith behind his blockers very well. I tell you what, give those blockers some credit for getting out there to lead the way. 15 to 20 plays out of some of the games so far that we've seen in the opening weekend. Ainge 
Off play action, rolls and throws, and he's got his man, and it's a touchdown, Tennessee. Chris Brown, the tight end, from 12 yards away. A confident quarterback, Eric Ainge, looks all of that right now as he lights it up to make it 7-0. Volunteers in front. First and 15, maybe a blitz from the corner. Handoff inside, Lynch. Nice job, up the middle, drop the ball. Fumble. The umpire's right there. There's still a scramble going on. Looks like Tennessee's got it, but we'll wait and see. Well, they've got it, definitely. I think, I think they're saying that it wasn't a fumble to begin with. So they're going to bring it back to the 24-yard line. Well, they're saying his knee was down, but i tell you what, the Marshawn Lynch, he just showed you a little bit of his power and strength because he was tackled at the line of scrimmage. Second and five. Hit in the backfield is four set by Marvin Mitchell. So the question at linebackers are starting to get answered already here for Tennessee. They'll take a look at this to start the second quarter. We played one. Tennessee at home leading number nine Cal by a touchdown. Waiting on Cole quits kick. Oh boy, and he hit it a mile. Jackson way back at the six yard line. What a punt and what great coverage. They drop him after about a two-yard return to Sean Jackson. And there's the defensive coordinator has been yeah. around a long time, Big John Chavis. Talking to him yesterday, you know, we told him, you know, he knows he lost six of his front, front seven. He says, but, you know, he was trying to bite his tongue and not say these guys are pretty good. Chavis was saying, we play a lot of players. Second and two, a give and breaking a tackle is Lynch, and now he's in the open field. Nice run. And that shows a little bit of what Marshawn Lynch can do. Longshore going long, wide open, and complete down to the 41-yard line. No, incomplete. Oh, he dropped it. Lavelle Hawkins had it. In the middle. A, the ball should have been thrown a little better down the field. That front seven of Tennessee. Now trips out to Longshore's right. Here comes a heavy pressure in the pocket, and down he goes at the 35. Gerard Mayo, the linebacker. They had a lot of receivers out there, but not a lot of blockers. Some people felt they should have been. Now, after an 8-4 campaign, even higher expectations this year. Third down, Longshore again in trouble, trying to break free. Down he goes again. Who else? Gerard Mayo. He's going to send Longshore to the Mayo Clinic if he keeps playing like this. Special teams, too. He averaged 15 yards of punt return last year. Ainge going to loft one. Nice touch. First down, Tennessee. And it's a tight end, Chris Brown, who had the touchdown catch earlier. And Brown with a second reception from his quarterback. Blitz coming from Cal. End around coming from Tennessee, and they've got some room. Robert Meacham, oh, shoestring tackle. A good one by Thomas Deku, or he might have been off to the races. Six and a half to play in the half. Hardesty in the backfield now as Ainge drops. Plenty of time. Got a man open in the middle. It's intercepted. Tip pass and intercepted by Brandon Hampton. Hampton going the other way, and he's back to midfield and more. Big play by the California defense on a tip pass. 34-yard return. Four set in the backfield. Lynch wide receiver left. Four set. Dropped in the pocket for a loss. In third and ten or more. Three wide outs to the right. Longshore. Deep throw and dangerous and intercepted by Tennessee. Getting it right back is Antoine Stewart. And Stewart back to the 45-yard line. Not a smart throw. This is a bad throw all the way. Short, bad. Longshore made the tackle. Ayers got the pressure and got the hit. And then the ball just fluttered down there yeah. to Antoine Stewart. He had good he had good time in the in the pocket. Just couldn't wait that long. You got to get out of there. Ainge in the shotgun with here, three here wide receivers. Come. He's got a man out there and got it to him, and I think it's going to be a first down. Great run after the catch by Robert Meacham. Well, I don't think the spot was very good, and Phil Fulmer has lost his lid over this one. <laughs> I don't blame him. I thought he had the first down. The previous play is going under further review. So it'll be reviewed. And we'll get a chance to take another look. Now, he did not say that the coach is requesting this. I don't think Fulmer's requesting it. I He's oh, got the his ball. Left look foot where, down. The look, ball is a yard look, in front of the Look where the ball was when his feet were down. I think his feet 
I think his foot was ahead of the line and the ball was a yard ahead of the line, if you ask me. Okay, now here, here's the ball. It's in his left hand. Not out of bounds yet. Look how far forward. The There's video evidence that shows the ball should be placed on a 45-yard line. Good That's point. the line to gain. First down. That's the way to get it done. Started a brilliant That's career. That's the way <laughs> the legend of Peyton Manning started around here. First down, and then some might be a touchdown. Robert Meacham, touchdown, Tennessee. These guys are covered all over the field. They have no chance to throw it. Well, you had two quarterbacks, and I think if you had two and you couldn't make a decision, I think what Te Jeff Tedford's got to do is give the other kid a chance coming out the second half. Well, we'll certainly find out. Coach Tedford, give me your report card on Longshore's first half performance. Well, a little shaky. Uh, he's got to settle down a little bit. Uh, we had some guys open, but we've had some drop balls as well. we got to get it going in the second half. What's the likelihood you'll put Joe Ayub in there? I don't know. We'll talk about it at halftime. Coach, thanks. Obviously, they're going to think about it, and Jeff heads to the locker room. But Tennessee at home looking like the Vols of old. But the out of whack one, I guess, guys, is the two people that we talked about that were so electrifying last year. Between Lynch and Forsett, 10 carries, 36 yards. So you can talk all you want about Eric Ainge looking pretty good, and he has. Defense of Tennessee has done the job. I think I think speed has dominated, and, and we expected him to rush coming in, averaging over 200 yards, rushing the two of them. They've got, what, 36 that yards. Cornerback yeah. by 40 pounds. These wide receivers for Tennessee are huge. Meacham is uh, 6'3 and 210 pounds. The corner weighed only 180, so he's a, he's a hard guy to bring down. Ainge comes up throwing, and he's got a man who broke a tackle. Robert Meacham again. Meacham, one man to beat, who might have an angle. Cuts inside the 20. He is gone. Touchdown. Lynch on the left side. Mitchell's got him all wrapped up. He broke free momentarily. And now under a wave of orange. Tennessee leading 21 to nothing here in the third quarter. Foster with a block and a big first down across the 40, almost out to midfield. Marion Foster got 19 yards. Foster will empty the backfield. And Ainge going deep down the middle, has got his man and he's gone. Jason Swain, touchdown. when they put the guy in motion. When this guy comes in motion, this is the guy they want to come get wider because the guy they're trying to throw the ball to is the guy on the inside. The guy along the uh, the hash mark. He widens, the safety widens, stop it right there. Look at this, wide open right down the middle. Two tight ends set here. Throw is going to be too long and intercepted. Nope, dropped. Jonathan Wade had a gift there and couldn't quite hold on to it. The motion man will set up on the far side and Longshore with long yardage to go. Fires almost picked off again by Wade. It was Jordan, the intended receiver. You're a quarterback and you're standing like this. Can't he see those orange shirts? Hey, he, <laughs> he needs to get rid of the ball. He probably didn't see Wade because Wade was up forward. With Bob Greasy, Paul McGuire, and Bonnie Bernstein, I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us here in Knoxville, where the Vols have their best starting field position, and they might have another touchdown. Ontario Hardesty is gone. He's in. Breaking tackles down the sideline. The other day, he said another thing. The running backs haven't been strong enough the last couple of years. He said back in the day, Jamal Lewis, even the little guys like Charlie Garner, he said those guys could bench press 400 pounds. These guys had to get stronger. And Foster and Hardesty and those guys have made a commitment in the weight room. Offensive linemen, they wanted to get, lose some weight. They felt like they weighed more last year and they were not very athletic. So this year, the offensive linemen, they're more athletic and a lot lighter for you. Yep. You know what's amazing? Did you see Meacham, the wide receiver? He, he gets two blocks on this <laughs> run. He not only blocks at the point of attack, and he's a wide receiver, he's, but he's 210 pounds. And Ayub is a senior junior college player who came in last year when Longshore went down. Started nine games, won five and four in those starts. Just inside the Tennessee 43. Ayub 
in the pocket. Going to loft it. Long's got a man open, and he can't quite get it. It's Lavelle Hawkins very close, but no touchdown. And third down and eight. Here they come. Joe's running for his life and throws on the run and intercepted by Tennessee again. Inky Johnson's got this one, and the Vols have got it back. Gange probably done for the day, and what a happy guy he's got to be. One less touchdown pass today than all of last year. Not bad. <laughs> on second down, here's Yancey. Yancey cuts it up to the inside, and it's going to bring up a third down at about four. And who in their wildest dreams? Tennessee, yeah, you know, they haven't been that tough at home in the last couple of years, but over time they have been. Who would have thought the number nine team comes into the country, they can put in their third or fourth running back and their backup quarterback it was sensational. On first down, Yancey, a little hesitation, follows his blockers. Oh, he really got nailed, and Cal's got the ball on a fumble. AU got his man. Nice pass and keeping his footing down to the 15 yard line is Began. It comes following the fumble. AU throws complete, ball loose. Tennessee's got it back if it was a completed pass, but they're going to say it was not. You know, just have control. Just AU in the pocket, guys. This is just my opinion, Bob, and you know more about it. He just looks more confident than Longshore's looked all day long. Well, well. A and Longshore looked pretty confident when he first started, too. I mean, ayub has been on the sideline. He hasn't been dodging uh, yellow jerseys, defensive linemen all day, you know, getting sacked. For all you folks in Tennessee and surrounding areas who heard Bob say yellow, he meant orange. He's orange. colorblind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's volunteer orange, too, yellow? by the way. Well, <laughs> yellow? When you're a quarterback, and when you see something coming at you, boy, it turns yellow. Uh-oh, that one oh. almost turned into a touchdown. Touchdown. Watch this. The Johnson is there. Watch, watch Lynch. He bumps him, not intentionally. He just bumps him. He's turning to go upfield. He bumps him and knocks the ball out. This is a great play by Lynch. Watch here. Bang. Yeah, he did. He saw him catch the football. Three minutes left, third quarter. AU lofts it to the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for his tight end. It'll bring up fourth down. You don't kick a field goal here. I mean, you, well, now you, we got a little don't fight even think going about on too. this. A little bit of a skirmish going on down there, and the officials try to get in there in a hurry. Here's what happened in the pocket after the play. Well, Cameron number that's Cameron number 71. He's yeah. in on, on this play, and that's a little extra Something stuff. Something on the board that for Cal. You, that means you weren't on the field. <laughs> yeah. and You're right. California avoids the shutouts. With 248 and the Boo Birds out in Knoxville, that they even tried that. I'll tell you, old David Cutcliffe is not going to allow this team to, to take any team like, lightly. That's true. Here's the kick, and it goes out of bounds, and that means Tennessee's going to have great field position with the flag, and they'll move it out to the 35 yard line. Seconds remain here in the third quarter. Ayub in the gun will hand it off to Lynch. Lynch finds an opening, and he shows his moves and gets down the sideline out to the 45 yard line. California. Final play, third quarter. AU down the middle. Incomplete, no flag, and now it does fly in. Three wide outs for him. Trying to get some offense mustered. Throwing long into coverage. And had the defender not fallen down, that would have been another interception. Eric Ainge, career highs, 287 yards, four touchdowns. The interception was off a tip ball. And then the defensive pressure. And the pressure came from Gerard Mayo and a bunch of guys. Mayo had a couple of sacks. And then Lynch and Forsett have been running sideline to sideline because they can't find any room to go up the middle. Or stop the clock when you go out of bounds. But when you bring the ball back in and mark it ready for play, wind the clock. Throw down complete, and it's a touchdown, Cal. Deshaun Jackson made a nice move and an adjustment mm -hmm. after the catch. And whatever he would do, I'd, I'd go along with AU for the two-point conversion throws. And Marcus is just glad to have a family. Boy, here. that is a awesome story. First down, Eric Haynes is back in at quarterback. So when Paul said, what do you think about maybe some starters coming back in? The starting quarterback's back in. Second down and four. Blitz coming off the corner. AU fires complete. Nope, in and out of the hands. Deshaun Jackson had it and just spit it out right in front of the Tennessee bench. Third down, might be two down territory considering the score. AU. Fires oh. and again they drop a ball. Robert Jordan thinking about where he was going before he looked it in. That's five drops by Cal today. Tremendous job since he's come into the ball game. You know, 
look at the, these guys. That, that ball was kind of knocked away by Wade. But these are drops. These are passes that should have been caught. And there's no excuse for it. Four. AU over the middle, diving attempt, and not able to hold on is Eric Began, the tight end. Look on the left hand side of your, or the right hand side of your screen, and you're going to see it. Look at this. He's running straight up the field. Look at he. You see where the quarterback threw? The quarterback threw between the defensive people. The tight end didn't get between them. The quarterback saw a huge gaping hole in there. If you had an uncle who was an ex-professional basketball player who won two championships with the Celtics and his name was Danny Ainge, you would go to one for advice a lot. Danny, when Eric was having struggles last year, what type of advice were you giving him? Well, you know, I, I just try to have Eric make sure that he loses himself in the team. Just play to win and you'll play better. When you start worrying about yourself and your own predicament and the number of reps you get and the opportunities you get to do what you want to do on the field, then I think that's when the struggles happen. But Eric is a very mature kid for his age, and uh, I think he's really excited for this year to get all the reps. I think he's growing up in front of our eyes. Tennessee's got a first down back to Danny and Bonnie. Danny, how relieved were you right at the onset of the game when Eric threw that bomb that completed to Robert Meacham? I, 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 was, I was happy for him. I think that that gets the, the pressure off right away. But, you know, Eric was very confident this morning. He just, he really believes in this coaching staff. He really believes in his teammates. And, and uh, I left meeting with Eric this morning and just believing that he was going to have a great game today. Be able to knock this out in the corner. Or he'll certainly try. And a great punt and great coverage down at the six yard line, almost catching it down there. We'll see when we're done here in about six minutes. That's going to be a good ball game. Yep. Coker's got a crease. Brought down inside the 30 by Thomas DeCue, or he would have been gone. Eric hey, Ainge in the shotgun, and he's going to pull it down and run. Excuse me, it's Crompton in there, and Crompton showing good footwork, and he gets a first down on a quarterback draw. They get four straight home games. Crompton, fourth and a yard, is going to try to run it again. And no, he's not going to get, get there. Tyson Alu Alu, there he is. Cooper Tires, player of the game, Eric Gange. A career night, 291 yards. That's the best he's ever done. Four touchdowns, that's the best he's ever done for Marshawn. Oh, and, and it's like Tetford said, this is just one game. We want to win it, but, you know, the, the Pac-10 conference is what we want to win. He suspended and took a linebacker and got him 163 yards on the ground the other night or whatever it was. Ayub throws complete, stepping out of bounds. Ayub over the middle on a slant, got his man. Going to be a first and goal. The guy's <laughs> carrying the change. You see why it's taken a while. And here's Ayub, and he's going to get in for the touchdown. Here comes an onside kick. Andrew Larson, the punter, is going to lay it up there, and Tennessee is going to come down with it. So the Vols make a nice catch with a good hands team. Palmer, 35-11, the final for Bob Greasy, Paul McGuire, Bonnie McGuire, Bernstein, Brad Nessler saying so long. It's a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.